Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new exclusive Jurassic World Dominion Extended Edition video. Yes guys, the Jurassic World Dominion Extended Edition has been posted and we can see some brand new scenes. Now what I'm going to do is, well, watch the whole movie firstly because it, it has an extra, what, 14, 15 minutes? And that's not including the prologue. There's, a, there's plenty of content here. Loads and loads of content, but the movie does open up with the prologue, which is much, much better than the Mosasaurus scene we got to see. But what we're discussing today is the most anticipated deleted scene that we wanted to see for a while, and that is the Lystrosaurus versus Oviraptor fight. Now, this scene adds so much more context to the Malta Black Market. It follows the same way that we pretty much saw in the main concept of the movie, where we have our main characters passed by Kayla Watts with the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor in the foreground, and also the Lystrosaurus in the background. This then continues where we see Wiggy checking out a sticky Moloch before being terrified of it. He turns around and notices Kayla. They then begin to discuss flying for Santos. Then we have our first brand new scene of Jurassic World Dominion's extended edition here, where we see Wiggy check out the Lystrosaurus, and he starts to notice something about it, how rare it is. Lystrosaurus, very rare. Now, in the original version of the movie, he mentions how he's got cargo and he wants Kayla Watts to fly it for 2000. And that was basically the end of the conversation, and it just felt really, really weird for some reason. We didn't really know too much of why this was cut out. And now that we actually have more concept and idea behind it, uh, this scene is a little bit different. Take a look. I've got cargo. A thousand kilos of dinosaur to Palermo. <laughs> Pastrosaurus, very rare. I give you two thousand. Eight. He may be ugly, but he's got spirit. What are you gonna do with him? He's mine now. What do you care? And as you guys saw right there, uh, it was slightly, slightly different. I'll be honest with you, but it, it kind of changes the whole concept of this whole conversation. Originally, you thought that Wiggy was paying Kayla to fly over some sort of dinosaur shipment, but now we know that he was actually paying her to buy the Lystrosaurus, which was very, very odd, but I, I much prefer this way instead. And just like what we saw in the junior novelization of the book, similar to what I said in my previous video about a month ago, we discuss how Wiggy says he is in my care now, why do you care what I do with the Lystrosaurus? That scene basically proceeds and continues, and Kayla hands over the Lystrosaurus to Wiggy, and then the big fight begins. Just as a fair warning to those who are a little bit squeamish, this fight is very, very brutal when it comes to the Lystrosaurus and the Oviraptor, so do keep that in mind when checking this out. And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, very, very quick. But man, was that brutal. <laughs> the Lystrosaurus, Leonard the Lystrosaurus, the dinosaur that we just thought was cute and cuddly and very, very innocent. It bit off the head of the Oviraptor. Why did they delete that? That was insane. So, okay, I'm going to re regather my thoughts here because that is, I still can't get over how insane that was. I thought it would be like a little brawl. I thought they tried to fight. Maybe one of their legs would get broken and that would be the end of it. I did not expect the Lishosaurus to just stand there, take on the Oviraptor, and actually snap its neck and bite off its head just like that. That completely threw me off. I will be very, very honest with you. I did not expect a single thing of the sort, and that was just crazy. My favorite thing after this is how the Lishosaurus has a feather stuck to its mouth and then spits out the feathers. <laughs> it just shows how brutal this really was. Not only that, but as we know, when chickens do get their heads cut off, their bodies are still active trying to find their way. Very similar to what we actually see here in Jurassic World Dominion's Extended Edition. What happens here is that the Oviraptor, when losing its head, its body still tries to move around, trying to gather its thoughts and where it is, uh, before it sadly dies off. But even still, I did not expect anything of the sort. I did not expect Leonard the Lishosaurus, of all creatures in this movie, to bite off a head of an Oviraptor. That is just insane, and that's another kill, an awesome kill, to add to the kill count for Jurassic World Dominion. 
something I did not expect to see whatsoever. Unfortunately, there is a lack of blood for a decapitation in this movie. Uh, I did kind of expect the Oviraptor's neck to be squirted out of blood, but I can understand why they didn't really do that to try and tone it down a little bit because you've just seen some dinosaur's head completely get chopped off. And it's not been hidden or anything, it's right there in the foreground for you guys to witness. So understandably so, they kind of dulled it down with the, with the blood a little bit more. But either way, checking this scene out was absolutely astonishing. There are many, many more scenes that I do want to check out, but this one is the first one I went to. Um, I believe it starts with the prologue, there are some brand new Maisie scenes, some brand new uh, Owen and Rain Della Court scenes. Uh, there's, there's loads of new scenes, to say the least, and uh, it, it definitely, from what I've seen, I've only seen the first 25 minutes so far, but from what I've seen, it seems as if this movie feels much more connected. It's edited well better and uh, put together much more better as well, uh, which is definitely a very, very good sign because, honestly, a Jurassic World Dominion, it's, it's a great movie in my opinion. I loved it. It's the second best Jurassic movie, just the head of Jurassic World, but obviously it's not going to touch Jurassic Park, but it just felt like it was cut down and edited just that really weird and choppy way. Understandably so, if the original edition was supposed to be this extended edition, they had to cut it down to then get more screen time within cinemas to then generate more revenue because that way you can, well, make a blockbuster hit, especially after the COVID pandemic. So understandably so, they did actually have to cut down some scenes to make this movie shorter. But now that we have the whole two hours and 45 minutes of this new extended edition of the movie, it definitely already feels a lot better. I'm still yet to see the whole movie. I'll go back and check out the whole movie now and I'll give you my breakdown on the extended edition very, very soon. But overall, from what I'm seeing so far, it's very, very, well, better, shall I say. I don't really know how else to describe it. You're going to have to watch and see it yourself. But the extended edition is much better than the standard edition. But yeah, so an Oviraptor gets his head chopped off. That's the main point to take away from this video. That's crazy. This is a Jurassic movie. And as, we, as we've seen in the past, Jurassic don't like to hold back. And uh, unfortunately, it held back with the original release of Jurassic World Dominion but it doesn't seem like it's holding back in the extended release. And uh, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm not over it. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely not over it. it it's just, it's an incredible scene. It really is. Uh, I'll be back today, hopefully, with a review on the extended edition. Um, I'm actually going abroad very, very soon for something very special regarding Jurassic World Dominion. So do keep your eyes on that. And um, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, I should be able to produce content whilst I'm away as well. So I'm trying to span out my content. If it's not a daily upload, I do apologize. I'm trying to span out my content for now. But for today's video, Oviraptor vs. Lysiosaurus, I, I, besides it being short, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> it's a brilliant fight. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you happen to have enjoyed today's video, feel free to press that like button and subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to also check out some other videos regarding Jurassic World Dominion on my channel. But most importantly, all I ask for from you guys today is to make sure you're all staying safe out there. And I'll happily see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you. Did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.